Yes. Yo. First day of winter. Happy first day of winter, everybody. We got the Old English brand malt liquor in the 40 ounce bottle. So let's get right to it. Now, <clears throat> at 5.30 a.m. today, coordinated universal time. So that meant it was actually about 11.30 p.m. last night here in uh, Central Time Zone. 5.30 a.m. coordinated universal time, December 22nd. the winter solstice occurred. What that means is the North Pole was tipped the furthest away from the sun that it is in the entire year. <clears throat> now, regardless of your faith or lack of, in my case, I am atheist. If you don't like it, fuck you anyway. Regardless of your faith, if you celebrate a winter holiday, such as Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or what the fuck ever, pay attention to this celestial event, the winter solstice, because this is the celestial event upon which all of those holidays are based. All holidays, winter holidays, to include, <coughs> in fact, New Year's Day. You see, this is the start of the solar year. <coughs> now, with modern technology, careful calculations and precise measurements, we know that the North Pole is tipped the furthest point away from the sun at this time of year. However, thousands of years ago, many civilizations knew this. Probably most notably, the Mayans. They calculated the solar year very accurately, to within the .001 range, to, to within a thousandth of a day. This meant they had to have been watching for a very long time on the range of thousands of years. Either that or ancient aliens came and told them. I'm betting they were watching. I'm not really buying an ancient alien thing, but hey, it could be. <laughs> so, happy first day of winter for everybody. Happy solar new year. Drink 40s, be happy. Swill, 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 bitches. Ugh. Goddamn. Swill fail. <sighs> Shit's too cold. <laughs> Rugby. <sighs> I'm out.